Hello everyone, Penny here with Meeting God in the Garden for week two, and we are on day three. Super excited. So week two, day three says Song of Solomon, chapter two, verse one. Day three, the term water lily does not appear in the King James Version of the Bible. However, the Bible does contain references to lilies and lotuses, which are aquatic flowers. For example, the Song of Solomon 2, 1 says, I am the rose of Sharon and the lily of the valleys. And in the book of Job 8, 11, it says, Can the rush grow up without mire and the flag grow without water? The Solomon chapter 2, verse 1 really quickly so i'm here in song of solomon chapter 2 and it talks about the shepherd's banner of love and our scripture today was i am the rose of sharon and the lily of the valleys there's a significance to each one of those flowers and it says as i read on a little bit into this it says as the lily among thorns so is my love among the daughters as the apple tree among the trees of the wood, so is my beloved among the sons. I sat down under his shadow with great delight, and then his fruit was sweet to my taste. He brought me to the banqueting house, and his banner over me was love. Stay me, stay me with flagons, comfort me with apples, for I am sick of love. His left hand is under my head, and his right hand doth embrace me. I charge you, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, by, be, by, the ro by the woes and by the hinds of the field, that ye stir not up, nor awake my love, till he please. Let me tell you something. There is a significance about the rose and the lily of the valleys in this. And uh, Yes, the lilies are among the thorns, and so is my love. So this is talking about love in this one. And... Um, it's actually about a Shulamite woman, actually. Um, it's a song, right, that was written in the lyrics. It begins with love. It begins with a sudden intensity, and then it ends in excitement. Um, she's content, right? It's can Think about this. So let's go as a spiritual perspective is what I'm talking about here. Not necessarily a physical love, but a spiritual love that the Lord has for us. So, um, this week I was introducing the soap method to everyone. So let's get that out, that soap sheet, and let's get into this. Let's get into the soap method here. And as you know me, I will continue with my colors and continue going in here. So um, our verse is, our scripture is Song of Solomon. And I just want to put chapter 2 because I think it needs, this. our scripture is 2 and 1. But it needs to go, you know, after I read that, it's a little bit more to it. But it says, I am the Rose of Sharon. And the Lily of the Valleys. Um, let's observe this. How do you uh, interpret what God is saying in this scripture? Well, as I... As you know me, and as I get my color, different colors out, because that's how I, I study, um, I look at this, and the Rose of Sharon represents something. It has a meaning, right? And um, But this one down here, the Lilies of the Valleys, have another uh, type meaning. Remember I said one was paraphrasing. One we're going to define. And... Uh, what is it talking about when it says the rose of Sharon? It is meaning that there's the rose has a significance. So the rose itself represents what in today's world? Well, in, you know, in this as well, it represents love, but it also represents beauty as well. Um, and then it has a fragrance, a sweet fragrance. Um, and the Bible tells us that um, when we pray 
you know it is a sweet savor to god's nostrils so this is what i was 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 trying to get into and in that um the smell is just so peaceful right we'll get into the lily of the valleys in a second um, but as the rose represents love, it represents beauty, it represents um, a sweetness, a fragrance, but it also has thorns, right? And they're not really thorns, as if you study, it goes on in the year, I think it will study. They're actually not thorns, and it goes on into this month, and you'll find out why that they're not actually thorns. But... Um, it, everything, something is so beauty, it must have protection, right? So the, the rose actually represents protection as well, and God's protection. Then we know that that Jesus was the rose of Sharon. You know, talks about Jesus being the rose, um, the rose of Sharon and love. You know, basically. And then the lily of the valley represents something as well. And the lilies of the valley. Um, represents the peace right the dedication right and things like that so and it helps us to renew our minds right okay now application is what ways can apply this scripture into your life well one thing is when it says I am I absolutely love that I am the love. I am the peace. I am protected. I am the sweet savor in God's nostrils. That is my application. It's affirmation to me. Um, it's an affirmation. It's meaning that I am these things, right? I'm talking about Jesus and he, he supplies these things, right? But it's also, so Jesus supplies, but also... Sorry, I'm writing. Uh, but also, these uh, can be fruits of the Spirit, right? Am I correct? Love, peace, tranquility. Ooh, I like that tranquility word. Let's move this tranquility. Okay. You know, the lilies of the field, they spin in toil, but they know their confidence and the confidence, right? In God. Okay, now prayer. And then one thing too I want to add is the faith and health. And you know about me, uh, peace. That is one that has to do uh, with um, faith and health connection. Because we know if our three members of our body are at peace, you know, uh, we are going to work in the ministry better. We're going to have a better li daily life, you know. And what we apply the affirmations, right? So the faith and health is where that we can apply the affirmations here. And when I say apply the affirmations, um, I'm going to say that, we, you know, walking in the spirit is one. Uh, in the spirit of, and also um, love, compassion, mercy. But um, a, a applying the affirmations, meaning say this in a prayer, right? So let's get into the prayer. Say this to yourself, you know, I am provided for. I do have protection among the thorns, right? I do have peace. I am dedicated, just like the water lily, um, diligence, and all those things. So I'm going to say a prayer down here that says, Lord, you know, help me to be more um, loving and help me to be uh, realizing that um, my confidence relies on you and help me to that kind of thing. That would be my prayer, right? That would be my actual prayer. Say, so, Lord, in Jesus' name, you know, because um, he says he makes us unto perfection. So uh, make me to love more, right? Uh, help me to walk. Uh, in love, right? Help me to love more. Made me to love. Um, help me to walk in love. Um, help me to um, reside in your confidence, right? And help me to to be content, right? No matter, no matter if I am amongst the thorns. Amongst, <laughs> among, 
the thorns help me to remember um, that I need to be content, right? And now I'm just going to say in Jesus' name, amen, right? So that's my prayer. And then if I went into sketching, if I wanted to sketch something, uh, I don't know where my pencil went to. My pencil's missing. So if I wanted to sketch something down here, um, you know, you could sketch another flower. Um, you could sketch a rose, actually. I would like, you know, you could do a rose. And you could actually, like, I take a circle. Let me barely do this, because usually you erase the circle when you're done. And you can look at a rose, and you can take this circle, and you can start drawing your petals, right, um, as a rose does. You can kind of remember in, in your head and see how you think a rose might be. You can look at photos of a rose or whatever. I'm just drawing, but if you draw it within a circle, it kind of helps you give the shape that you need. Anyway, so I will draw a rose, right? Um, for this first mapping for today. And that, that was my sketch for today or Bible imagery or whatever. So I hope you enjoyed the soap method for today. And today is week two, day three of the study. Week two, day three of Meeting God in the Garden. I hope you enjoyed today's um, verse mapping. Stay tuned. Check out all the videos and everything within the group. Check out all, if there's any links down below this video, check all those out. I hope you come and join us. Bye, everyone. Have a wonderful and blessed day.